Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand episode for you today. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new LG Cinebeam Premium 915, HU 915. Uh, this thing is actually incredible. I've been in de demoing it for a couple days now. I'll let you guys know all about it. Rav's the intro. Okay, so back at it. It's been a while, guys. I know uh, unofficially I retired about a year ago, so I've been kind of putting videos out sporadically, but now I'm back. I mean, it, it's time to get back at it. I got newborn twins sleeping in the other room. It's 4 a.m. right now. This is the only time I have to myself to, to actually have peace and quiet, but if you guys hear them chime in, then the, you know it, it is what it is. Another thing, guys, there is already a video out there in the wild of the brand new LG HU915. Um, I don't think that he did an exhaustive type of approach to the video. And again, I'm not gonna do it either, um, but I will let you guys know a couple of things that I, I won't, whenever I was watching that, that I didn't necessarily pick up on or that things could be elaborated. And I'm gonna try to do it in focus this time. All right, and thirdly, this was sent out to me directly from projectorscreen.com. Big shout out to Brian over there. Thanks so much for making this happen. There aren't a lot of these things out there in the wild right now. They are available for pre-order. So if you guys want to follow my links down in the description, you guys can check them out. Get this brand new LG HU915, whether it be in black or white, available for pre-order. And you can also get the uh, super cool Spectre screen. They're the only guys that have it in 110 inches UST, so you guys want, might want to check that out as well. I have a 120, but to each their own. All right, guys, broad strokes. This is the brand new 2022 LG Cinebeam Premium Projector, right? This is the HU915. It's replacing the HU85. To be honest, the HU85, their triple laser, that was probably one of my favorite USTs to date. Um, there are, there, it's, it's been out for a while, it's a little long on the tooth, so it makes sense to go ahead and replace it. You guys have seen the 715 come out earlier, it is a single laser, and again, you know, single versus triple, there is a cost difference associated with that. This is the brand new flagship, this is the Cinebeam. 915, there are different colors, so you can have a different designation after the 915, so you can get it in black or you can get it in a white type casing. The black one, which one is this one, is going to be the 3000 lumens. If you wanted to bump up as well as, you know, pay a little extra coin, you will get to the white box, which is going to be the 3700 lumens. Obviously, the box indicates where you're, where you're going to be using this. Dedicated theater environment, black, you know, living room, white. So you get the extra performance. There is a price difference associated with that as well, but you just get the box, right? You get the triple laser box, 3,000 ANSI lumens. This is in thin air. There, there aren't many peers around this thing, USTs, ultra short throw projectors. You need the brightness for ultra short throw. I don't know why some of these brands put out, you know, very, very uh, abysmal ANSI lumen. And it, to be honest, it, you know, the lumens can be fudged. So people will advertise higher than it actually, what it's actually putting out, or, you know, they can underinflate and actually over deliver. So I, I, I noticed a difference right off the bat. I've been using a, a different projector UST in, in this space. In my lab, I'm using the 120 inch Spectre screen. It's 0.5 gain. I've been using that with the Hisense L9G. Um, but the difference is, is that this one is definitely brighter. I even had my nanny that watches the kids during the day. Um, she came over and she's like, dang, this thing actually looks like looks brighter it looks sharper like she thought that you know maybe it was just because it was an overcast day or because the the sun was out differently but then i told her you know like hey it's a brand new box so e e e even to the uninitiated it's it's very very um noticeable so again this is an ultra short throw projector 120 inch screen and at 120 inch screen size this thing is seven inches from the wall so it really really brings ultra short throw into the the scenario with other ultra short throw projectors I've seen, you have to really back them out into the room. So you're kind of eating into your real estate that you can actually use. And if you guys have ever had one of these things, you can bump it, your, your dog can come over and scratch their leg and you know bump it. The kids can go over there, touch it, poke it with their Cheeto fingers, whatever it is. You know, the, these things are kind of a, a pain to get uh, um, centered 100% on there. You may have a little bit of keystone in there, but the cool thing with this one is, is you have a couple different options to making your keystone adjustments, you have the ability to do four, nine, and 15 point warping. So if you guys are shining this thing on the wall, or if you guys have mounted your UST screen and you didn't necessarily get it 100% perfect, or, you know, just to cor correct for all those other, you know, uh, factors that, that it could be, this one has the ability to make it work for you. And if you just didn't, didn't get that one little corner on there, that'll, that'll help you uh, really get that thing into in, in shape. 
Again, 4K UHD resolution. This is a three channel laser. It is actually a true RGB versus, you know, previously they would do an RBB, which, which would be double blue with a, a different filter attached to it. 20,000 20, hours. And if you guys put that in perspective, if you're watching this thing, the American average of three hours a, a, a day, you're going to be eight years before you're going to need a, a, a replacement on this thing. So very, very um, incredible with its versatility and longevity. Portability is incredible too. So um, this thing is kind of expensive. So I don't really see you guys doing that, uh, moving it around too much. But if you want to just pick it up, put it in another room for the, the kids game night, they can do that. If they want to watch a movie night, you could pick it up, shine it. Um, you can actually just put it on the ground, shine it onto the garage, and kids can go out there and play Mario Kart, you know, have game night for the, the, the family. Or you can just hang a sheet in the backyard, and you could take it there as well as long as moisture is controlled. Sound on this thing, you get 2.2 channels, 40 watts of sound. This is actually one of the better sound solutions I've heard with the UST screen, but also it has eARC on one of its, H on one of its three HDMIs. So if you want to ing integrate this into your home theater system, you can do that as well. Um, most people choose that, but you know, if you're really just using this in your living room, you don't necessarily have to. It also works with at, uh, it also works with two of the LG wireless sound bars. They do have the brightness optimizer two feature in there, uh, which will modulate the laser light source. So if you have, um, it, you can actually choose the auto brightness. So if it's dark out, then you'll be able to enjoy it without burning your retinas. And then whenever it's super bright out, you know, it'll actually bump that, that, uh, that performance up for you so that you're actually able to see it on your screen. It does have uh, adaptive contrast and iris mode. And another cool thing is this one does have dynamic tone mapping, which will increase your, your enjoyability on 4K HDR titles. I'm getting a little long-winded here, but this thing is tack sharp. It is, the colors just pop off the screen. Color accuracy out of the box is just really, really impressive. If you guys do want to get this thing calibrated, you can as well. I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but um, in, in my eyes, this thing does have a, a great out-of-the-box performance. Um, but again, you know, taste will vary. This is one of those ultra short throw projectors that does cost a little more. How often do you guys actually calibrate this thing? Like seriously, like take a step back and look like how many times, how many times have you calibrated a TV? Not that often. This is a TV replacement. And also it does double duty by giving that big image that actually serves as a two piece projection, rear projection. So really dealer's choice if you want to do it or not. But in my eyes, this thing looks pretty good out of the box. There was one spot on the Batman video to where the taillights looked a little more saturated than what I would like. That would be just one thing that, that I would tweak. But other than that, this thing is incredible. All right, guys, so another thing I want to let you know about is that their remote is actually really, really cool. But um, this thing does double duties. This is their magic remote. It's very, very intuitive. You point at the screen, you move the cursor around, kind of like a Wii remote um, or even a Samsung as well. Um, and it's very, very intuitive. Um, I do like the features on it. It has dedicated buttons for Netflix, Disney+, Plus, um, Prime Video, things like that. You can change your inputs very easily. Overall, just feels good in the hand. It uh, wakes to light, so it's just easy to find um, your nav navigate around whenever you're in the dark as well. The styling on this thing is very, very nice as well. Depending on which color you choose, you do have that nice little bit of wool face uh, facing uh, for the sound bar. On if you're looking directly at the projector on the left side, you will see the fans, which are intakes. On the right side, you will see the exhaust. I didn't notice a lot of heat uh, thrown off into the room, so this isn't going to be like your standard projection system that really, really heats up the room. This is a laser. It's also UST, so it keeps things nice and cool. Noise-wise, it is a very, very low um, type of noise, so I don't think that's going to be an, uh, obtrusive at all, unless you're sitting there in dead silence. Pew! Pew! Pew, 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 pew! All right, guys, well, it looks like the twins are waking up. They're hungry, so uh, let me wrap this video up. Brand new LG Cinebeam. 2022 triple laser RGB uh, HU 915 all the greatest hits right there are on Front Street um, this thing works great it has great connectivity um, it'll get over over onto your network you can cast directly to it whether you have Apple or Android um, it does have a lot of built-in features and overall I just really really enjoy this thing I mean it, it works right out of the box it looks incredible right out of the box you don't have to do much to it and it's very very pleasing to and unobtrusive in your environment. So if that's important to you, if you guys want the big TV experience without necessarily paying the tens of thousands of dollars to have a dedicated theater space and all the, uh, if you give a mouse a cookie type things that go with it, you know, subwoofers, speakers, um, uh, racks, uh, 
wiring, installation, all that stuff. If you guys want to minimize the headache, just get something that's really, really big for your for you and your family or you and your spouse or you and your girlfriend or who, who whoever, you know, you, you, you and your, your, your puppies. You guys can check this thing out. Highly recommend it. I, I straight up, I, I, I want one of these things. I, <laughs> I want one of these things really, really bad. But again, like I was talking about, this isn't an exhaustive video. I will give you guys a uh, dedicated gaming video coming up shortly. So I know I didn't touch that in this one, but I will do that um, coming up very, very soon. So really appreciate you guys for watching. Again, check out my buddies over at projectorscreen.com. Links down in the description. That's all I got for you. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.